Yeah, there we go. You just had to go all the way to the castle before you started getting stages that actually looked like the final level. I do enjoy that the Warp Star just does not care. That Warp Star is probably Kirby's most powerful ability, if he were allowed to use it wherever. Probably safe going here in the middle of that, actually. Not that one. Big boy. Big boy's back. Let's get hit by the first enemy. Good plan. Just keep moving! extra health bar when you're just trying to get through stages. Nothing else to the right? Nothing else to the left? Jump in the air and swing your hammer. You hit, you hit the button where you jump in the air and you swing your hammer. I'm going to need you to, to jump in the air and swing your hammer. Oh, I don't need this at all. of doing the friggin' wind dance with him. I recall this looking spooky, but really not being that bad. I think the only thing the wind does is prevent you from flying. generally prefer the jump spin than the grounded spin. I feel like I have more control over it. So I don't want to come down. Oh, I killed him. Somehow I felt like that was going to open up into a mini-boss, and I was not looking forward to it.
Oh, goody. Goody, 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 goody. Okay, I guess we're going up. Gotta hit me a lever. Hit a lever. Smack it real hard. Same thing. Oh, do we have to actually do the boss rushes? Piece of crap. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not. I am not ready for this. Yeah, I remembered you go up that time. I didn't remember you went back. Thanks. How could I hit you like that once and then, like, never again? DDD, get up. You have the longest friggin' getting up in animation I've ever seen. Yeah, like his head comes up from the bottom. Get wrecked. Okay, one of my least favorite bosses, so I wasn't looking forward to that. But we got past him. Oh my goodness. So uh, it's just for a level. Okay, then I gotta do that, then I gotta go that way. No, we have to hit that one, and then go up, and then down. Too far. Too far down. Yeah, it was just a metal. Oh, well, it was free. Please give prizes. Okay, if they're just gonna be up there and like not that angry. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Please have enough water left for the other one. Hey. Do I get to skip a boss fight? I would love to skip a boss fight. Oh, you're like a friggin' Phanto Mask. Well, thankfully I can just kill you, unlike a Phanto Mask. jump in the air, I didn't hit up in the air, I just jumped and swung my hammer, you didn't need to keep flying. I think I've always felt like Kirby is at its best when you're just there to have a good time. As soon as it starts expecting a lot of precision and expertise out of you, it starts to be almost a little too much. 
like the controls are built around its fluidity in normal movement. So you can do all kinds of little things and flow back and forth between them. But it's also very easy to do that by accident when you need precision. Here's another one that I think I really like to just have you exist on this plane of reality for a minute. It's gonna be risky, but keep them now. Are you going up or down? Up or down? That was down. Ah, then up. Oh, if you can just stand under with that fire hammer, though. We may have skipped Wispy. You know what? You can just stay up there. Could use my healing items. I'll take another one. Right, you can just live down there. We did not skip Wispy. You can get that fire to hit him. I've watched enough TASs of Kirby games in my time. That again, I dare you. That did not hit me, and you know it. I was on your side. I was trying to line up. I was trying to line up to hit you with fire. But no, you had to be that way. You can't hit him that way. Ill advised, but you can. That was risky, I was just kind of hoping I could kill him before one of those hit me. Those are hard to not get hit by, so, like... Let's just hope! I do still have my healing item, too. I actually kept it. Like, I didn't have to use it. Which means I'm pretty well off, actually. Because if I die at this point, it's kind of whatever. I can take another one, though. So there's a way to use that cannon to get around. Okay, I don't know if there's going to be prizes over here. It may just be a way to get back.
I'll take it, sure. I get to skip something? I have to skip a boss fight? That's what I really want. There were five bosses. What was the fifth boss? We're actually past the boss rush at that. What was the fifth boss? Because, like, I know of, um, Frog... Fire Frog... Dude. There's Wispy, Coily Ratter, Drossia... Fire Frog... Cracko! I must have skipped Cracko earlier. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so all we have to do is free the lady. I think it's really neat how they used flowers to give all of them different and unique hair. So what did this flower lady do to be holed out here with a door all her own, as opposed to here? Turk! Just get up there and hit him, dang it! Life's in danger here. Oh, that's... Whoa. I could have gone straight up. I was indecisive. I was trying to go like. Maybe I should try to go left. I think we should bring back characters with purple lipstick and purple hair or eyes. Tie the two colors together real nice-like. I wonder if I have to go through the EX stages. I don't remember enough of the EX stages up until now to remember if we actually had to go through them or not. Wait, can I be over here? No, probably not a great idea. Do. Cool. That was like the hardest fire puzzle. I was doubtful that they had made that one mandatory. Trying to look ahead and see, like, where's the next one that I gotta hit. I can't tell now. Let me just wanna grab this. 
Because I think I'm grabbing that, and then I'm going into the background. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, we're reaching the end of that helmet's lifespan, but at no point in this game has the items having a lifespan really been an issue. And I was really worried it was going to. Like, I felt like it was going to. I have memories of it being that way, but that may not have been a this game thing, that may have been a later game thing. I think the one that you can just kind of... Just don't worry about it. There's like all this stuff you can do. Just don't worry about it. I think that reveals something about it. I forget what. I mean, I heard it reveal something. I think it was a platform below the plat... Like, I think it was blocks below the platform. I wonder if the flowers on their heads are alive or just decorative. Because hers is clearly cut off and turned upside down. There is no way that thing is fresh. Probably the exact thing that I said the first time I saw this. Oh. Trying to get me. So this one goes several times, but I'm pretty sure this block here in the middle is always the safe one. Oh, no it's not. I swear I remembered playing that several times and, like, just taking the easy route, but there was no real easy route that time. You just had to pay attention. why they didn't just reveal that fifth one right at the start. It was just another level like all the other ones. It didn't feel like it was a, oh yeah, you have to do these in order to unlock this big nasty one with the big guy in it. It was, just kind of felt like a fifth stage, so this makes me wonder why. Just make all five of them visible at the start. Button. Okay, now we're going into final fight time. Yep. Final fight time. So we do have a checkpoint. I am fully expecting to die here more than a few times. Because we're fighting the hard mode of final bosses, and I have not fought... I haven't fought these bosses without using Archer's free win. So... Having to, like, read the attacks, this is going to be... I mean, like, doable, but it's... 
I'm gonna learn it. It's also the hard mode of the fight, too, so it's not even gonna be, like, as learnable as it once was. On the upside, I don't have to fight Kirby. Or DDD. Yeah, you just start off fighting Sectonia. Nope! I should have done that. Oh, she's coming over here. Okay, this is like... High-low. I think it's aimed at you. Oh, and that one was both. Yeah, that's cool. That's real cool. I mean, that hurt, but I hurt her. I hit up and down. Which is not how that works. I have a maxi tomato. I'm gonna hold on to it for a minute. Health is down. She's still just going into her second phase. You always get a maxi tomato at the start of this fight, though. So, like, if I die, I might as well just grab it. Fire hammer for the win! Ow. Okay, well, you can get hit by that. It's not just a transition. Jeez. Kill him. Down. Up. Split. I don't think we have to do... I don't think we have to do final Sectonia's DDD. We have to do something, though. It's the amazing mirror! Man, that mirror was so amazing. So amazing, I could see DDD twice in it. Look, I just want to hit him with the fire. Okay, if I die and it brings me back to DDD, it's kind of whatever. Maybe I should stop trying to do dumb things. Oh, it axe phase. I have no maxi tomato. I'm not ready for axe phase. Can I get you? Ability. Gonna kill me. It didn't kill me. I can 
Maybe kill him if I'm lucky. He's just gonna do something dumb that kills me. I don't have any items in reserve. Man, he's pulling off friggin'. Yep, saw that coming. Didn't really know how to dodge that. Thanks for doing an easy move! Oh, I'm going in it. Oh my. Maybe this is where all the EX bosses came from. Isn't this where we fought the last boss of Amazing Mirror? Oh, butts. Um, I have no health. Yep. Do I start over there? No! You expect me to go through all of those fights? Okay, no, it may not be that way. Because... Yeah. In the uh, normal mode, um, they actually gave you a choice when you went to the door of what fight you were going to go into. So that is... A, a checkpoint of sorts. Almost did the same thing again. Hey, um, lag, thanks. Couldn't tell what was going on. Your whole like block. Can you like stop them? You like have to hit him and stop lagging. I'm trying to fight. I literally jumped into that. You have to get behind him. I don't think jumping in the air is the way to get behind him, though. Does he, like, does he jump when I jump? Or are you just gonna... No, you just walk up and stab me. That's the ticket. Ow. Why do you have an answer for, like, everything that I'm doing? I just kind of flexed at him. I didn't actually attack. Judge distance! Stop lagging! Holy... Okay, I'm gonna die. Um, 100% I'm gonna die. And the next time we do this fight, it won't lag as much. Because it will be loaded. And this is real dumb, and I hate it. Yeah, that's the attack I want to do.
Can I just finish you off before you kill me? Probably not, actually. Not at this point. Hey! <laughs> did the wave. And now we've truly beaten Kirby in the amazing mirror. Shocked. Absolutely shocked that I actually beat that. So look at our clear times. Boy, that one was rough. Level six was a whole game. I was 100% prepared for like, it's fine, I'll die. And then we'll go back in and fight it again. Oh, play the credits. And then we'll go back in and we'll fight him again. I know more, so I'll be able to play better. And, um, th because this is something that I've noticed in the game, I don't know if it is part of the original game. I highly doubt it is part of the original game. It is very likely how it is that I have to play it. But, um, whenever it has to load something new, the game will lag for a minute. And kind of the frustrating thing is that the game still runs in the background. It's just not updating visually what's going on. Um, this will happen for cutscenes, but this will also happen for like boss attacks and things, which is the worst. And it has to load it into, because it has to stop and load it into memory the first time it's used. As long as that is the first thing I do, like if I die and go right back in, it'll still be in memory, though. So I can go back and do it again, and it will not lag. So, kind of a frustrating state of affairs. Um, I feel bad because I felt like I was getting frustrated in that fight, and part of it was due to, like, lag shenanigans. And part of it is also just like, yeah, I got hit by an attack that I wasn't entirely sure how I was going to have to dodge. Which is a complaint that I've had, and I think it's something that Kirby's done for a long time. Is, if you're blind reading an attack, it is very likely you'll get hit by it. Um, after you see it once, you're like, oh, no, I get it. That's fine. And then you do much better the second time around. Um... But yeah, I was fully prepared to like, yeah, I'm just gonna die. And they'll come back, and the second time around will be much better. Uh, I will know the tells a lot better, no lag or anything, like, we'll just... We'll just knock this bad boy out! Uh, so that is... I was gonna say DDD's Drum Dash. It's DDD something. Uh, anyway, that's that. That's that bad boy. Overall, it's an interesting game mode. Um, I don't think it especially does anything, like, new or interesting or innovative or anything. Um, and I've said before that, like, you don't have to. Just make something that's fun. But I don't really feel like they did anything with this that made it... Interesting, I guess. Like, yeah, it's fun playing as DDD, but he's just like a hammer with an extra move or two to compensate for the fact that he can't, he's running through vanilla levels without vanilla abilities. And like, I've related to the Meta Knight quest from prior games, at least one prior game, and I think I enjoyed the Meta Knight one more because instead of just being hammer with some added bonuses, it was a combination of sword and wing, so you had, like, weird combination stuff. Instead of just being limited to one ability. Because if you're limited to one ability, just play the game as Kirby. 
Go get Hammer. Play the game as Kirby. But, like, having Wing and Cutter at the same time... No, Wing and uh, Sword at the same time is a little more interesting. And you had Meta Knight's abilities that you could, like, get juice for and then choose what you wanted to spend your juice on. Whereas, again, nothing like that here. It was just... You just had Hammer. And that's mostly it. But anyway... That is DDD Tour. And after you've beaten DDD Tour, and the vanilla game, and the arena, it unlocks the true arena. So we have our little emblem next to our three main modes, which means we have completed our three main modes. So the only thing left for us is the true arena. And I'm gonna cheese the crap out of that.